to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about money and the substrate it's simple interest. To begin with, I want us to speak more of money and how you can money can get money. For instance, let's say you want to begin a business and you don't have the capital. The capital is the money that you normally use when beginning any business. So let's say you don't have the capital, that is the money, to begin that business. And you feel that you really want to begin a business. So where are you going to get the money? So you can get that money by borrowing from any financial institution. When you go to the bank to borrow money to come and begin your business, that money you borrowed from the bank, you have to return it to the bank with a profit. Let's say for instance you borrowed like a hundred thousand from a bank. When you come to return the, the money to the bank, you won't return exactly a hundred. You have to add an extra amount to the hundred thousand, let's say like ten thousand, then you return the money maybe after six months or after one year. So that profit the money generates is what you call simple interest again let's say this time around you have money and you don't know exactly what you can do with that money you have not yet budgeted or planned how you're going to spend this money instead of you keeping the money in the house and the thief comes and steals the money it's good or safe you take that money and keep it in the bank the bank doesn't just keep the money there waiting for you to come and pick it it uses that money to do business also. So when, if for instance you have 50,000 you take to the bank, after six months or after one year, when you're going to pick back your money, you will pick 50,000 plus the profit this money generated. So maybe the money generated like 5,000 profit. Therefore, when you're going to get back your money or to withdraw your money from the bank that you deposited there or kept them in the bank, you will get 55,000. You'll go home happy, excited. You have 5,000 extra with you. So let's come now to our today's lesson. So simple interest is the profit generated by money either borrowed or deposited in a bank. Therefore, this introduces us to some words or uh, vocabulary that are used in this topic called simple interest. And these vocabularies are money deposited, Maybe you deposited that money in a bank or maybe you went and borrowed that money from a bank. Therefore, whatever you borrow or whatever you deposit in a bank, in one word, is principal. So all this is what we call principal. principal. Again, remember, this money, you are, it's earning or attracting profit. And the profit is in terms of percentages. And this profit now, in terms of percentage, is what we call rate. And we are saying rate is given in terms of percentages. Now, this money you borrow from a bank or you deposit in a bank, you are given some time, a period of time, for you to be able to pay back. Therefore, the time that are supposed to take is what we call time, T for time. And that profit, there's a way we can calculate it. The profit the money now generates after you stay with it for a given time, period of time, is what you call simple interest. Therefore, simple interest, SI, is equal to principal amount. And you have said principal amount can either be deposit or money borrowed multiplied by rate and the rate is always over 100 because it's always given a percentage multiplied by time and the time is either annually that is per year that's what we talk about per annum per annum meaning on yearly basis an year yearly basis so Principal amount times rate of 100 times time gives us what we call simple interest. And the simple interest is the profit that that money of borrowed is going to attract. So let's get some examples. 
So Guti deposited 16,000 shillings in a bank that paid simple interest at the rate of 8% per annum. How much interest did he earn after two years? When I was introducing our topic, we said per annum means on a yearly basis. So this per annum meaning that the interest is generated on a yearly basis. So how much interest did he earn after two years? This interest is what we have called simple interest, SI. So how do we get simple interest? Simple interest is equal to principal amount multiplied by rate which is over 100 times time. The time is the period that you're going to stay with that money. So in this case, our R rate is 8%. So our rate is 8% and the principal amount which is the money deposited is 16,000. And our time, it's two years. And we need to be careful with this per annum. Sometimes they can tell you per month. So because of per annum, we are working with years but not months. So let's now put whatever you're given here to our formula. So SI is equal to the principal, which is 16,000, multiplied by rate, and our rate is 8 over 100, times time, and our time is two years. So we cross multiply, zero goes with zero, zero goes with zero. Now we are left with 160 times 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Therefore, 16, 160 times 16, 0, uh, 36, 6 carry 3, 6 plus 3, 9, 1 times 0 is 0, 6, 1, then we put together this 0, 6, 9 plus 6 is 15, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, this is the simple interest. Because Sunguti deposited 16,000, after two years, his money has generated a profit of 2,560. Therefore, we have answered our question. But also, we can also want to know, at the end of the two years, how much did we withdraw from the bank account? So if you withdrew whatever you had taken to the bank, which is the deposit, of 16,000 plus the profit the money generated and the man, the, and the profit is 2,560. Therefore, in total, when he goes to withdraw his money after two years, he will come with 18,560. You see how important it is to keep money in your bank instead of you keeping it in your house? It is generating profit. In a second example, we are told that Hope borrowed 15,000 for a period of two and a half years he was charged simple interest at the rate of 16% per annum. How much interest did he pay? So we are also reading our question step by step. The question is about the simple interest, the interest, in other words, the profit, the money generated after this two and a half. Because when you borrow this 15,000, when you are taking back to the person who, lent, who, who had lent you the money, you take back 15,000. That money should generate some profit for him. Therefore, that profit is what we are calling interest. So, the time you are given, you are given the money borrowed, and the borrowed money, we said borrowed money or money deposit is what we call principal amount. So, our principal amount, our principal amount is 15,000. Our time is two and a half years. And our rate it's 16 percent now at this point now we put we equate our everything in our formula and principal si is equal to principal amount times rate over 100 times time therefore our si is equal to principal of 15,000 multiplied by the rate of 16 over 100 times time which is two and a half years so we have to change these years into improper fraction which is going to be SI is equal to 15,000 multiplied by 16 over 100 times 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2. We are changing our time to our, our improper fraction. So by 2, 1, by 2, 8, two zeros they go, they cancel. The, so 8 times 5 is 40, 40 times 150. Therefore 150, we put a 0 there for 40, then you multiply by 4. 0, 0, 20, 
carry two. Four times one is four plus two, it's six. Therefore, the profit generated within two and a half years is six thousand. So this is the simple interest or the profit generated. So the answer is our simple interest is six thousand. In the case they ask you how much in total did he return to the bank or to the institution that he had borrowed the money. Remember he's returning whatever he had borrowed plus the profit that the money uh, attracted within these two, two and a half years. So in total he's returning whatever he had borrowed which is 15,000 plus the profit the money generated which is a simple interest and you get 21,000. So 15,000 plus 6,000 5 plus 6 is 11, carry 1, 2. In total, the total amount is returned a total of 21,000 to the institution that it borrowed the money. Let's do our next example. In our third example, we are told that John deposited 95,000 in a bank that pays simple interest at the rate of 6% per annum. How much interest was he paid after one year and eight months? So we are looking for the interest, which is the simple interest. And how we get simple interest? Our formula is here. Simple interest is equal to principal amount times rate of 100 times time. And we say our principal amount is either money borrowed or money deposited. That's what we call principal amount. Therefore, let's analyze our question. Our PA, principal amount is 25,000. 25, rate is 6%. And time is uh, time is one year and eight months and eight months remember we are being told six percent per annum meaning on yearly basis and here we have months so what should we do so the first thing we convert months into years by saying this one year as 12 months what about 8 months is equal to how many years? So you cross multiply. So 8 over 12 times 1. By 4, 2. By 4, 3. Therefore, 8 months in terms of a year is 2 over 3. And hence our time is going to be 1 which is one year and two over three and year, which is equivalent to eight months. Remember, you are changing because the rate is given in terms of yearly basis, which is per annum. If they had said months, we could have converted years into months, then we put together with the eight months. But we need to answer what we are being asked at that given point. Now, let's now get the simple interest, which is principal amount and rate of 100 times time. And our principal amount is 95,000 multiplied by a rate of 6 over 100 multiplied by time, which is 1 and 2 over 3. So these are mixed fraction. We change it in proper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So all this is 5 over 3. Therefore, 95,000 multiplied by 6 over 100 times 5 over 3. By 3, 1 by 3 is 2. These two zeros, they cancel. And then 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 950, you get 9,500. So this is a profit, or the simple interest is 9,500. And we have answered our question because the question is basically asking about the simple interest. And the simple interest is 9,500. So at the end of one year and eight months, the money deposited attracted a profit of 9,500. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe. Remember to press the notification bell. Leave a comment and practice. Remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching.